Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, I raise my eyebrows, but this time Ben moves his arm back and I point at some air. This video here. Starting off the news this week, NASA's Hubble telescope, one of the most famous satellites orbiting Earth, is fully operational again, after a device on the telescope stopped working in mid-June. It's the worst problem Hubble has encountered in recent times, after its systems forced it into a safe mode, with NASA announcing last week that they think they had found the issue, and would be switching Hubble to its backup hardware. On Friday, it was reported that Hubble's essential instruments were back up and running, and most of what it had missed while it was offline can be rescheduled to a later date. In other news, I'd like to once again quickly mention a man using his own vehicle to go to space, but this time it was Jeff Bezos' New Shepard craft of his company, Blue Origin, that made the trip. Like Mr Branson who went up in Virgin Galactic's vehicle, Bezos hopes to have his craft putting paying tourists up to space very soon. Bezos believes that this will allow rocketry technology to accelerate to a level where it can be used to combat climate change. Also on this flight was the oldest person ever to go to space and the youngest at 83 and 18 respectively. And now over to Ben, who has lots of news for you this week. Thanks Doug. Well, up next is an interesting but fairly sad paper that investigates the fossilised injuries preserved on the bones of a hadrosaur dinosaur from Argentina. This individual, a dinosaur called Bonapartesaurus, was recovered from Upper Cretaceous rocks and displays three pathologies, two in the neural spines of the tail vertebrae and one in a left foot bone. One of the vertebrae preserves a displaced fracture that's healed quite a lot, the other vertebra shows an impact or stress fracture that's almost fully healed, and in the foot is an overgrowth that was probably a bone tumour. The paper explains how such discoveries of paleopathologies can help us better understand how these might have affected relationships between these organisms and other members of their species, as well as different species, but that sadly such a suite of injuries would certainly have disrupted this individual dinosaur's daily activities and caused them a great deal of pain. Still a fascinating discovery though, and one that enables us a glimpse into this animal's life millions of years ago. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for 7 Days of Science this week, and don't forget to check out this video here.